Beneath the deserts of New Mexico and the high valleys of Colorado, a silent force is slowly tearing North America apart. Most people drive across the region without ever realizing they are crossing one of the continent's most dramatic geological scars, a vast, stretching wound in the Earth's crust known as the Rio Grande Rift. To the untrained eye, it appears as a chain of valleys, mountains, and desert basins carved by rivers in time. Yet beneath this landscape lies an immense tectonic wound. While far less famous than the San Andreas Fault or Yellowstone, the Rio Grande Rift may hold the key to the continent's distant future. Some scientists believe it represents the early stages of a process that could eventually tear North America into two separate land masses and form a new ocean. Deep below the surface, the ground is pulling apart millimeter by millimeter, guided by heat, magma, and the same tectonic forces that once ripped continents from supercontinents and opened entire seas. Though such events are measured not in centuries but in tens of millions of years, this rift is a reminder that continents are not permanent. So what if the Rio Grande Rift is the beginning of North America's eventual breakup? Could the quiet mountains and basins of the southwest be the first signs of a continent splitting in two? Let's find out. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. The story of the Rio Grande Rift begins around 25 to 35 million years ago, when the North American plate underwent a dramatic shift in tectonic forces. For much of the earlier Cenozoic era, the continent had been compressed by the collision of the Farallon Plate beneath its western margin. This pressure created mountain ranges from Canada to Mexico, including the Rockies. But, as the Farallon Plate fragmented and was mostly consumed into the mantle, the stress regime changed. The compression eased and the continent began to relax. The region where the Rio Grande Rift now lies was unusually susceptible to stretching. The crust was relatively warm and thin compared to the surrounding areas. Underneath, hotter mantle material rose upward, weakening the lithosphere. As tension increased, long parallel faults formed, allowing blocks of crust to drop downward and form elongated basins. These basins, such as the San Luis Valley, the Albuquerque Basin, and the Española Basin, became defining features of the landscape. The rift is also home to several volcanic fields that erupted in response to the thinning crust and rising mantle heat. In northern New Mexico, the Jemez volcanic field produced vast lava flows and the enormous Valles Caldera, one of the most significant volcanic structures in the United States. Further south, the Taos Plateau and the Petrillo volcanic field formed through repeated eruptions of basaltic magma, creating landscapes of dark lava plains and cinder cones. Rifting is not a sudden event, but a slow, methodical process. It begins with subtle cracks and shallow basins, and over millions of years can evolve into dramatic valleys, volcanic plains, and eventually new oceans. The Rio Grande Rift is now a mature but still developing rift system, one that bears many similarities to early-stage continental breakups around the world. Its birth marked a turning point in North America's tectonic story and set the stage for a geologic transformation that may still be unfolding. Contrary to the quiet landscapes of New Mexico and Colorado, the Rio Grande Rift is far from dormant. Geological studies show that it is still actively stretching, albeit slowly. The rate of extension is estimated to be between 1 and 2 millimeters per year. Though seemingly insignificant, this steady pulling accumulates over millions of years. Modern seismic activity provides further evidence. The rift experiences regular small earthquakes, especially in areas where crustal blocks continue to adjust along fault lines. The Socorro Seismic Anomaly, located near Socorro, New Mexico, is one of the most intriguing features. It hosts swarms of earthquakes, uplift of the ground surface, and a large, mid-crustal magma body estimated to be about 19 kilometers deep. Instruments have detected the ground rising by around 2 millimeters per year in this area, suggesting an active magmatic intrusion. Elsewhere, geothermal activity reflects the intense heat beneath the rift. Hot springs, fumaroles, and geothermal reservoirs are scattered throughout the region, providing both natural wonders and potential energy resources. 
These signs confirm that the Rio Grande Rift is not a relic of the past, but an evolving tectonic feature. The forces shaping it have not ended. They continue to transform the Earth's crust inch by inch, year by year. If the Rio Grande Rift were to continue evolving for tens of millions of years, the implications would be profound. In a hypothetical future, the rift could deepen and widen enough for seawater to flood into the basins, creating a long inland sea stretching from Colorado to Mexico. As extension continued, volcanic activity would intensify along the axis, giving rise to a line of volcanic islands or ridges. Eventually, the continent could rupture completely, allowing the formation of new oceanic crust. In this scenario, North America would split into two major landmasses. The western portion, consisting of parts of Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, and possibly regions farther north and south, would drift away from the central and eastern regions of the continent. The Rio Grande Rift would evolve into the boundary between these new landmasses, marking the birth of a new ocean. Such an outcome would transform ecosystems, climates, and geography. Coastal regions would emerge where none exist today. Mountain building processes could accelerate at the edges of the new oceanic basin. Over tens of millions of years, the western block might collide with another plate, forming yet another mountain range. While this future is speculative, it is grounded in the known behavior of continental rifts. The Gulf of California, for instance, began as a rift similar to the Rio Grande Rift. Today, it is a narrow sea formed by active seafloor spreading. If that process can occur in California, there is no reason it could not happen along the Rio Grande Rift under the right circumstances. However, predicting the long-term fate of any rift is difficult. Many rifts begin with great promise only to stall and become failed rifts. One famous example is the mid-continent rift beneath Lake Superior, which nearly split North America around a billion years ago, but stopped after volcanic activity waned and tectonic forces shifted. Today, it remains a geological curiosity rather than a dividing line. The Rio Grande Rift may suffer a similar fate. Its continuation depends on the tectonic forces acting upon it, and those forces could change. The boundary between the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate could evolve. New subduction zones could form, altering stress patterns. Mantle upwelling could weaken or shift. Any of these changes could slow or halt the rift's progression. Furthermore, the rate of extension is modest by global standards. At 1 to 2 millimeters per year, the rift may require more than 100 million years to reach advanced stages. Over such vast timescales, predicting the tectonic environment becomes extremely uncertain. Scientists also debate the role of deeper mantle processes. Some models propose that the Rio Grande Rift is driven mainly by gravitational collapse of the elevated Colorado Plateau. Others suggest it is linked to dynamic mantle flow, or remnants of the subducted Farallon Plate. These debates reflect the complexity of the system and the difficulty of forecasting its ultimate destiny. The idea that the Rio Grande Rift could one day tear North America in two is both dramatic and scientifically plausible, yet it is also deeply remote. Human civilizations rise and fall in the space of a few thousand years. Even the entire history of Homo sapiens is negligible compared to the timescale required for continents to fracture. Whether the rift succeeds, stalls, or transforms into something entirely different is a question that will be answered long after humanity has vanished. Still, contemplating such a future is valuable. It reminds us that the Earth is not static. What we perceive as eternal, mountains, valleys, rivers, coastlines, is constantly changing. Continents drift, oceans open and close, volcanic fields ignite and fade. The Rio Grande Rift is a window into that grand narrative. It may remain a modest rift valley forever, or it may evolve into a great inland sea, a volcanic ridge, and eventually a new ocean basin. In the farthest reaches of geologic time, North America as we know it could cease to exist, replaced by two separate continents drifting slowly apart. Such a transformation would not be catastrophic in the way human timescales understand disaster. It would be slow, graceful, and unstoppable. And 
it would reflect the same processes that have shaped the Earth for billions of years. Whether or not the Rio Grande Rift fulfills this destiny, its story invites us to appreciate the dynamic world we inhabit.